it's just one. I've got some bad news. There's been a complication with Lisa. She's had a heart attack. A heart attack? She's only six months old. She's developed a blood clot in one of her coronary arteries. It's, it's damaged her heart. How bad? Serious. What you're trying to tell me is that my daughter's dead now too. No. Look, all I'm trying to say is that your daughter needs a heart transplant. I'd like to put Lisa on an organ replacement list straight away. Look, Mrs. Bishop, I, I know this is a lot for you to think about right now, but time is a factor and I need your permission to go ahead. I reckon Lisa would just be so fussy. So I thought I'd take them for a drive, calm them down. I had no reason to be on the road. You can't blame yourself. I don't blame myself. I blame that son of a bitch and what he did. Look what he did. I know. Look, Alice, because Eric and Lisa are siblings, there's the possibility of direct donation here. Because they're twins, there's highly likely that, that they'll be compatible. Oh, we could wait, but Lisa doesn't have much time. Alice. Stories of how people just wake up. Isn't there a chance? You should see the way that he loves his sister. He just loves to be around her. This way. This way he can be. And he can save other children too. Mummy doesn't know. Your sister needs you. Everyone's saying you're dead, but you've got to show me. You've got to show me that they're wrong. Open your eyes. Please. We tried everything. Yes, we described our innermost sexual fantasies to one another in detail. And I wore a costume. Uh, nurse. <laughs> and we, we talked for a while. And um, we watched a bit of TV and... Um, Porn? A documentary on squirrels. It was very informative. Yeah, yeah. And then we went to bed. Yeah, we were, we were tired from all the talking. Yeah, and I think that nurse outfit was a bit binding on you too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so no sex? No. no. Kissing? No. Oh no, no, no. That's not true. You kissed me on the forehead before we went to bed. Does that count? You'll kill us. Are you positive he knows? I'm not positive, but he knows. So what do we do? I don't know. We should stop seeing each other. Oh. I don't want to live without you. We have to get away. We have to get money. I know a guy who pays girls to party. He's always got a lot of cash. He'd be easy to rob. We'd have money. We could get away. We could be together.
Have you partied with him? I used to. Did you like him? It was all part of the deal. What deal? He works for Mr. Eddie. What does he do? He makes films for Mr. Eddie. Pornos? Yeah. How did you get in with these fucking people? They don't. How did it happen, Alice? It was a long time ago. I met this guy at a place called Moats. We became friends and he told me about a job. In pornos? No, a job. I didn't know what. He set up an appointment for me to meet a man. I went to this place and they made me wait forever. This guy guarding the door. I started getting nervous. In another room I could see a guy lifting weights. But these guys gave me the creeps. They never said anything to me. So I waited and smoked cigarettes. Then they took me into a room. And they made me take off. Wine? Yeah, half. Half? It's half a glass of wine. It's half of what you normally pour. Okay, yeah, I get it like the waiters do, you know? They put that little stain in the bottom of your glass. <laughs> Instead of actually pouring a glass of wine. <laughs> Just pour me a half glass of wine, okay? Okay. Nothing more than that, yeah? Mm? Um. It's just. John asked me how. John has in. As in ex-husband John. Has asked my flatmate out on a date. Yeah. Wow, is he going to Slays of the Year or something? <laughs> so, um, what to say? Charmed, I'm sure. Um, go stick it in your ear. Oh, it was a bit of both. So you want my permission to do this? You know, I, I don't hate you that much. <laughs> Why would I do such a thing to a friend? So, like, do you want it back? Or? Oh God, I wouldn't take him to his gift wrapped in jelly. <laughs> I haven't seen John naked or anything, but gift wrapped in jelly, that's, that's pretty nifty. <laughs> Without clothes would probably be the best thing about John. That's what. He's a detective. He's a homicide detective. Do you want me to paint a picture for you? I know, I know, but I'm sure that there's plenty of homicide detectives out there that are, you know, good lovers and, and fathers and, and husbands as well, all three. You know what? You're right. The universe is a pretty big place. Yeah, somewhere out there in the realms of space. I'm sure oh, right, I get it. I know, growing up with your ex-husband, that's just stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just, I'm sorry. 